What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John City 4 here to bring us more Star Wars Battlefront Beta. Today's game mode is called Walker Assault. Now if you guys do not know what the objectives of this game mode is, I'm explaining to you guys right now. So the uh, Imperial side, they gotta transfer this walker. Like he's super slow, it takes like around more than 10 minutes to actually make the whole transfer from one side to the other. Or maybe even more, I think it takes like around 20 minutes to for that walker to get to, the, to its objective. So um, it's gonna be a long ass battle. And especially on a 20 versus 20, it's going to be very chaotic. It's going to be goddamn, it's just, it's just super crazy. So, um, so yeah, 20 versus 20, uh, walker, you got to defend it. And uh, the way you can defend the walker is by preventing the rebels from connecting the uplinks. Now, the uplinks are kind of like domination flags, but you got to hold square in order for you to capture it. So, uh, once they connect the three uplinks, they're going to be able to stop the walker on this path and make some damage to it. And it does take a while to make some damage towards, towards the walker, so you can pretty much take it out on the first try. So uh, they, they actually like there's actually like around four waves of uplinks, and um, the best thing you can do is just stand near the uplinks and just prevent the rebels from getting it. So that's all I can tell you guys, unless you got like uh, badass grenades or something that can take them all out at the same time. But uh, anyways. So yeah, those are the objectives. Uh, the rebels, you pretty much gonna have to connect three uplinks, and then on the imperial side, you gotta prevent the rebels from connecting the uplinks and transfer the walker. So those are the objectives. Um, now, after playing a few hours of this game mode, I can tell you guys there's a big flaw on this game mode. Now you might already heard about this a long time ago, maybe like three days ago or two days ago, but um, and a lot of YouTubers are talking about this too. This game mode is very unbalanced. There is just no way one side, which is the Rebels, can win them all. Like, they just can't. I, I'll, I'll say, like, maybe like around 1 out of 20 times you should be able to win with the Rebels. But only if you do have a great squad on the Rebel side. Because um, on the Imperial side, you can actually spawn in vehicles. Like, um, there's like a mini walker. I'm not sure how, to, how they call because because, um, you know, I don't watch Star Wars. So, I really do not have no idea what their names but uh, you can spawn in like these two mini walkers and uh, they move super quick so with these two little mini walkers you can take out like waves of enemies and it does take a while to destroy them so um, and on the, on the rebel side they don't have vehicles so how are they going to be able to defend themselves from these two vehicles with no rockets barely any kind of ammunition of uh, you know heavy ammunition that allows them to, to defend themselves against vehicles there's rarely any of that because we only have for our assault rifles and a grenade so that is the big problem right now in this game mode that it's just there's no way the rebels can defend themselves from heavy machinery and on the um in the imperial side you pretty much have it done you pretty much gonna always win no matter what you're always gonna win 24 7 unless you have a very dumb teammate that pretty much happens like half of the time because i will be showing the club like tomorrow where um my own teammate was shooting my walker while this with this is happening right here and um, it's just super dumb. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Just sh you shouldn't be shooting at our own walker. So anyways, um, another thing I want to mention to you guys, there are power-ups in the battlefield. If you do pick up a power-up, they, they're going to give you like an airstrike or a rocket launcher or imploding bomb, a gun turret, missile turret, um, squad uh, shield. That's just pretty much of a good defense right there. Because once you're in the uplink, you're going to pretty much uh, deploy that shield and defend yourself from explosions and shots and everything. It's very usable. A very usable shield it does last a long time. Unless they throw your grenade, then you're pretty much going to get the hell out of that bubble. So, um, yeah, this game mode is super fun, like I said. Uh, and there it is. Look, that's a blocker I was talking about. God damn. That was a crazy explosion. And I'm telling you guys, that these are great graphics. I enjoyed them all. I enjoyed the explosions, by the way. So anyways, um, so yeah, this game was super fun. I recommend it. It's just that you gotta be on the Imperial side. You just can't do anything on the Rebel side at all. And um, yeah, this is pretty much the cutscene that always happens every time you win as an Imperial. That's it. I mean, those things are like in plain sight. Can it just send some planes and destroy them all? I mean, that's all I need to do. So um, yeah, that cutscene does, just doesn't make sense at all. So that is it guys, you guys enjoyed the gameplay and also enjoy the information about this game mode. Please let me know in the comment section and also leave a like in the video. So subscribe for more if you guys want to see more.